everybody, this is Kim. Welcome back. Thanks for clicking on this video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about VoIP versus cellular versus landline. The three major uh, phone technologies, they're similar but different. And I'm going to kind of just talk briefly about this. This is going to be a pretty short video. Um, one of my coworkers asks me recently what a VoIP phone was and that got me thinking maybe other people don't know either so um, I'm gonna kind of explain each one tell you the pros and cons real quick and uh, yeah I'd appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up that would be awesome and if you haven't subscribed please also do that that would be great let's get going okay so let's start with landline phone service the oldest telephone technology basically uh, used to be a standard in all homes. It's hardwired, also known as PSTN or copper lines. It's been around for more than a century. You plug a telephone into the jack on the wall and you're good to go. And, you know, it's pretty straightforward. But they are becoming less popular due to the convenience of the other technologies. And landline phones have higher cost including higher long distance charges, etc., and there's fewer features. And the preference of customers basically wanting mobile communication. A lot of people have foregone their landline phone service and they're just using their cell phones. Um, there's also an aging copper wire infrastructure. That's the wire that's in your house that goes to the jack. Um, it's, they're no longer really, um, using copper. It may be facing obsolescence soon, actually. Major phone providers are retiring the copper lines and converting them to fiber. And I don't think anyone's installing copper lines anymore. They're only installing, um, fiber if you add a new line. I could be wrong, but from what I've gathered... That's the scenario now. So here's some pros and cons of the landline phones. Pros, first, uh, familiar technology been used for decades. Elderly people or slow tech adopters may not want to switch. A lot of people like having that phone sitting there on the counter. Um, the biggest pro is accurate 911 service. 911 calls from a landline phone will tell emergency services exactly where to go because that phone is registered to your address so they know exactly where to go. Uh, landline phones does not need electricity to work unless you have a phone that um, needs to be plugged in but like the old style phones don't need any electricity. Cons can only be used when you're at home, obviously, because that's where the phone is. Uh, higher price than other options. Duplicate cost. Most people also have a cell phone, so they're paying for two phone services. And it's aging technology with very few added features. So now cellular phone service. Okay, everyone knows what a cell phone is, but... Um, Basically how they work, our calls are transmitted from your cell phone over radio waves to a nearby cell tower. And there's an ever expanding coverage of cell towers that allows users to use their telephone almost anywhere. As you travel out of range of one cell tower, you are passed off to another cell tower and the network of cell towers covers an area like a big piece of mesh so that your stall, your call stays connected. It's very popular because of its mobility. You can take your telephone with you. Make and receive calls anywhere you go. It uses radio waves to transmit calls. It does not need to be plugged in in order to get a call or to make a call or take a call. There are dead zones without cell coverage, but they are shrinking as more and more cell towers are installed. Cell phones also allow for other things like there's cameras and GPS and texting, etc. Um, 
cellular pros and cons. Start with the pros. Make and accept calls anywhere you go. Your cellular device also allows for texting. More instant communication anywhere you go. Most cellular devices are also smartphones with internet access, GPS, texting, cameras, access to thousands of apps. You can t keep in touch easily with family members with texting and location services. Um, kids can take the phone with them and have an easy way to contact parents. You know, if they're going to their friend's house or something, they don't have to ask to use the phone. They can just pull out their phone from their pocket and call mom. Cons, 911 call problems. So 911 calls made from cell phones are sometimes routed to national call centers erroneously. So if the call does not go to a local entity, it's harder to get help quickly. The ability to geolocate an exact location of a cell phone is very difficult. So if you need help immediately, you're going to have to make sure you tell them exactly where you are. So you're going to need an exact address so that they can pass that information on and get you help. Um, cons, another huge one is distracted driving as people are using their cell phones not only to make calls but texting, people are reading the internet. I heard that people even play games while they're driving. I don't know. Very, very dangerous. Your phone can be lost or stolen and then you have no phone. Batteries don't last long. They need to be charged often. So if you don't charge it and it dies, you have no phone. So there you go. And like I said, the dead zones where there is no self coverage. So at that point, you will not be able to make a call. And call quality also is a con. Um, a lot of times you can't hear the person on the other side, or there's a lot of noise in the background, so you can't really hear what the person's saying. You know, those are kinds, that's also a con. Okay, so let's move on to VoIP. Voice over internet protocol, that's what VoIP stands for. Basically, phone calls transmitted over your internet connection. It was developed around 1995 as a way to save on long distance calls. That's what they said the original intent was. I'm not sure if that's true. I think uh, people just didn't want to pay all the money to the phone company. It's a very flexible solution. It can be used as a home phone, business phone, with your smartphone's internet connection to make VoIP calls. Cheaper than a landline phone service, but works the same, very similarly. But there's many more features on a VoIP phone system versus a landline. This is a software-based service, so your experience will vary based on which VoIP provider you select. They are all different. They all offer different things with different pricing and different features, etc. Most packages from your TV, internet, phone providers now include a VoIP telephone service. They may not tell you that it's VoIP, but if you ask, you'll find that's the case. It's much less expensive for them and for you. They will install landlines, but they use Viper. No, no longer install copper, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong, but that's what I believe. Um, here's the VoIP pros and cons. Low cost and include a lot of features. Portable. High scalability, which means you can just keep growing and adding more and more phones. Um, familiar phone experience feels very much like a landline phone that many are used to. You can even keep your own landline phone number if you'd like. Um, and if you really love your telephone hardware, there's adapters that allow you to keep that too. Cons. You will need to purchase hardware to use VoIP on your existing network connection. If you get a VoIP service from, you know, like uh, Frontier or um, I can't even think of the name of any of them, AT&T or whoever the companies are <laughs> that offer uh, the packages with your um, internet and TV and stuff. Um, they'll usually give you the hardware you needed. Um, if the internet goes down, your phone system goes down. So that is a big con. Um, there's a latency, which is a delay. A lot of times you'll be talking to someone and um, there's a, there's a delay between what they when they talk and when you hear it. And there's jitter, choppy qual, call quality. Um, you may need to buy a phone or an adapter to use your existing phone. There's no location tracking for 911 calls at all. So um, 
you know, okay, a lot of the services will offer that with an additional cost um, to give you 911 service on your VoIP phone. So ask about that. So because it is available, but it is an added cost. Okay, so I hope this cleared things up a bit. Do you still have a landline in your house? Do you use VoIP? Do you just use your cell phone? Um, if you have any questions or comments, please list them below. I'll try to answer the questions. And I'm really interested to hear um, what you use. Do you even you know how many of you still have landlines do you even use them we kept ours for a long time um just really for 911 and then we realized wow we're spending a lot of money on this and we never used that phone i never answered it when people called um because everyone had my cell phone number i figured if uh, they're calling on the house number it's not someone i want to talk to so i never answered that phone we just paid for it and <laughs> it's crazy so um yeah, anyways, we do have VoIP and we do have um, our cells that we use. And that's that's just, you know, everybody has their own uh, needs. So that that's what we chose. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you learned something new or found it was interesting. And I'll see you again next time.